How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi Battle. Today we're in about versus Gwen in the Smogon Overused tier from the Discord server. Stick around till the end for a bonus battle and with that being said, let's jump straight into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Gwen. So they're going to lead off with Rotom as I expected. I kind of predicted Rotom or Sisui and Samurott, so I led with my Superior. It feels like a good, a good thing to lead with. So uh, let's go straight for a Leaf Storm. There's no real reason not to, so let's go for it. Thunder Wave comes through. They are Scarfed, so the Scarf Thunder Wave. Is it worth it to get us paralyzed when you're going to go down to a Leaf Storm? I don't know, maybe, but we got a special attack boost, and the Rotom does go down. So Rotom out of the way is amazing for us, and uh, definitely amazing for us. So let's see what Superior can do. Paralyzed. Samurott comes through. This thing's a threat. It's going to go for a Ceaseless Edge. I'm going to go for another Leaf Storm. I don't see any reason not to. They go for the Ceaseless Edge, which is going to sting a little bit, does over, just over half. Watch us get fully paralyzed here. Watch us get fully paralyzed. We didn't. Nice. We get Leaf Storm off on the Samurai, which is amazing. They are Focus Sash. And we get a crit, now that it matters, because it's plus two. But we've definitely done some good work there. So let's see what happens now if I switch into my Corviknight. My Corviknight has Rocky Helmet. So they go for another Ceaseless Edge. I think if the Rocky Helmet takes them out, it doesn't sell the spikes. Which would be amazing. So they only get one layer of spikes up. So let's go into Noctis. The Corviknight. They do go for a Razor Shell this turn. Which does do a lot of damage. But Rocky Helmet. I'm afraid that Samurott's going down. So both water types are out of the way. Corviknight did good. Superior did good. In comes the Dragapult. So this thing's probably going to flame for us. Um, I want to switch out. I want to sack off Superior. So I'm going to sack off Superior like so. Just to get us a free switch on the Dragapult with whatever we want to do. Because if they're Flamethrower, then chances are they are also Choice Specs. So let's see how this plays out. So they go for a Dragon Dance. Ah, oh, crud. That ain't good. So Dragon Dance is going to come through. Makes them fast AF and really strong. Let's go for a Glare just in case they get greedy. But they don't. They go for a Dragon Dance, which takes out Superior no problem. So with Superior down and out for the count... We have got some different... This Life Orb as well, which is good to know. So, if they're Dragon Dance, what do we do? I'd say the best thing we can do... We'll have to go back to Corviknight and go for a Brave Bird. That's the only thing I can think to do against the Dragon Dance Dragapult. So, let's go for a Brave Bird real quick. They do go for another Dragon Dance, which is terrifying. If we can force them to Terror into something that isn't, drag that isn't Ghost, we can Extreme Speed them with Arcanine. We go for Brave Bird with the Corviknight. Does a nice bit of damage to them. Not too much. Not too much. And now we go for another Brave Bird. We'll see what they're going to do. They go for a Dragon Darts, which might two it KOs, but it doesn't. Corviknight's just too bulky. What a bulky bird. As Corviknight is going to be able to take out this Dragapult with his next Brave Bird. The Recoil will unfortunately take us out. But you know what? Corviknight took out the Suing Samurott, technically, with its Rocky Helmet. And we took out the Dragon Dark, Dragapult that had two Dragon Dancers. So... You know what, Noctis, you deserve a good rest there, buddy. You really deserve a good rest there, buddy. They bring in Latias as we bring in our Blastoise. So not the best matchup for us. Um, I was hoping they go for the Great Tusk or the Moltres, but Latias makes sense as well. Spikes are going to dig in. We aren't Rapid Spin, so we're going to have to do something here about this thing. So I am leaning towards the Slow King so we can go for a Thunder Wave. I'm leaning towards that. I'm also leaning towards a Shell Smash. I think I'll go for a Shell Smash. They go for a Drake Meteor, though. That's going to definitely take us out. It does take us out. They've got to be Choice Specs or something for that to take us out, right? So, at least we know they're not an Agility Calm Mindset, which is good to know. And um, we now have no way of taking out that Great Tusk, though, outside of Future Sights. So, I'm going to go Golurk, like so. Goliath comes in. And if we assume they're going to switch out, we should go for a Dynamic Punch. Because they probably go Great Tusk here, right? So we go for a Dynamic Punch. They do withdraw the Latias. What are they going to go into? Are they going to go Moltres or uh, Great Tusk? I think Moltres comes in. Okay, Moltres comes in. That's interesting. So, um, I well, I kind of hope that Great Tusk would come in. Because that Dynamic Punch does a lot of damage to Moltres still. Oh, it was a crit. Okay, are we going to get a Flame Body? We don't get a Flame Body, but we do get the Confusion. That is guaranteed, though. Um, now we have to switch out. So I'm going to go into Arcanine. Arcanine gets a good... Um, a good little bit of damage off here. So we withdraw Goliath, the Golurk. And we're going to go into our Wildfire, the Hisuian Arcanine. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. 
And um, we get hit by the spikes, which is unfortunate. Let's see if they break through confusion or not. I don't think they will. They do, and they go for a will o wisp but it doesn't matter because we are a fire type. We can absorb that all day, every day. So now, they're probably expecting a head smash or something. So they're probably going to switch out. I'd say they go Great Tusk. So I'm going to go for a Flare Blitz here. They actually stay in to take the Flare Blitz. They snap out of Confusion and they go for a Hurricane. Which does no damage, but... Oh, I thought you'd get confused. That's, that's great. It didn't do that. So we get rid of a Flare Blitz. Nearly take out the Moltres. They go for a Roost. So we are in a bit of a predicament now. Because this Moltres is proving to be a bit of a problem. So what do we do here? We switch out into Galarian Sloking 100% of the time. That's for sure. And uh, we go for a Future Sight and then we go for a Thunder Wave and then we go for a Chili Reception, I think. I think that's the way to go about it. So uh, they go for another Roost to get themselves up to full HP. Like so. And I want to Thunder Wave this thing. I also want a Future Sight. I really want a future side here. Um, so I am I am gonna Thunder Wave here because the Moltres is being Thunder Wave to be ideal, but they do switch out. Are they gonna go Great Tusk? Great Tusk comes in. That's not gonna get affected by the Thunder Wave, unfortunately. I should have future side really, but um, it is whatever whatever. It is what it is, it is what it is. Future side could still come in clutch, so I do kinda wanna keep this uh Glorian Sloking around. But we will see how this plays out. So let's go for a switch. Uh no. They're going for a headlong rush. We shouldn't switch. Crap. Do we terror? Do we terror or do we future sight? We could terror. And that way we'll be, we'll be neutral to headlong rush. Go for a future sight or a chilly reception. Do we need terror for anything else? I don't think we need terror for anything else. I am going to terrestrialize into a dark type here. Just because I'm expecting to go for an earthquake or a headlong rush. And I know we can take it if we're dark. So we'll tear a dark like so. And also if they knock off, it's not going to hurt as much. So we'll tear a dark. And um, they go for an EQ, which is great. So the fact they have EQ tells me it's more of a defensive build. So we tell a chillingly bad joke. We're going to get our regenerator and everything. Which is great. We'll get the regenerator. Starts the snow. And uh, we'll go on back. And I'm, I'm leaning towards bringing in the Go Lurk again. But I'm not 100% sure that's what I want to do. Um, I think the best thing for me to do is to go Go Lurk, though. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. They could have Knock Off, but if they do have Knock Off, it's like whatever. We do get hit by the Spikes as well, which is a shame. Uh, let's go for a Poulter, guys, because it'll hurt everything. They withdraw the Great Tusk. Are they going to go Moltres again? Moltres comes in. So Moltres comes in to take a dynamic punch potentially. And we go for a Poltergeist, which isn't going to miss. We're attacking them with the Heavy Duty Boots. It's banded. Nearly gets the KO, which is amazing. So now, they probably don't go for a will o -Wisp. They probably expect an Arcanine switch. So I bet they go for a Roost. Let's go for another Poltergeist. They go for a Flamethrower, expecting the uh, uh, something. They're assuming Arcanine, maybe. We go for another Poltergeist. We get a Go Lurk KO, which is amazing against the Moltres of all things. I really, I figured they wouldn't go for a Will-O-Wisp because of the Arcanine probably being a switch in. But I, I, I kind of assume they go for a, a Roost to get some health back. But I guess Flamethrower to get damage off is also equally as good. So they bring Great Tusk in now. Great Tusk can definitely take us out, no problems. Um, it, Latias can as well. So there's no real reason not to go for a Poltergeist here. They go for an Ice Spin and that's probably going to KO us, right? Yeah, so that's, that's, um, that's great and all. So, what are the chances they have close combat as well? What are the chances of that? I want to know. Because we definitely don't live here. Let's go for a future sight. They go for a brick break. That's going to KO us. So, brick break comes through. KOs the slow king. I was really hoping they wouldn't have fighting stab. Um, that was the only way I was going to get around it. So, that's a shame. <laughs> um, it does mean we lose here. With Arcanine, so Arcanine is going to lose to the Great Tusk because there's nothing we can do to hurt it. And even if we lock ourselves into Flare Blitz and we get a crit or whatever like that, it's not going to matter because they're going to live. So that is going to be the game. So GG Gwen, that was a pretty fun one. Um, unless we get a burn crit here. Nah, Earthquake's going to come through and take us out. So GG Gwen, that was a fun one. 
Um, it's a shame that Pokemon didn't get to shine that I wanted to shine, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, GG Gwen, that was a really fun one. Not much hacks either, which is nice. Very nice. And we have ourselves a bonus battle. Today we're on a bonus battle versus Blitzer from the Discord server in the Smogon Overused tier. And once again, they brought their Leafy on. Ah, great. It's going to be a good time with the Leafy on. Stick around till the end for a rental code for the team. And with that being said, let's jump straight into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck and fun Blitzer. So they're going to go ahead and lead off with Gengar. As we lead off with our Arcanine. So right off the bat, we could cash this thing off guard by going for a Flare Blitz or a Head Smash. I think Flare Blitz will still KO. So I'm going to go for the char uh, the uh, Rock Hedge Flare Blitz, which would be great. So we go for the Flare Blitz. They didn't expect us to outspeed. They might be Focus Sash. They are Focus Sashed. Um, and we may get Cursed Bodied here, but it looks like we haven't. They do hang on with that Focus Sash. But we get the Burn, which is really clean. So we don't have to worry about no Destiny Bond on this Gengar. The Flare Blitz does get disabled though, which is unfortunate. And they go for a Shadow Ball, which is definitely going to do a nice big chunk of damage to us. Um, not too much. It lowers our special defense, unfortunately. But that burn is going to be able to finish them off, which means no Destiny Bond shenanigans with a Gengar. I mean, they might not even be Destiny Bond, but you know. I, I, every time I face a Sash um, Gengar, they're always Destiny Bond. So it's good that they didn't manage to pull that off. In comes Kitsuna, which is going to be the Ninetales. They know we're locked in because we are outsped the Gengar. Um, so they get the drought up, they get a free whatever they want to go for on whatever we can do. So I'm going to switch out into my um, Galarian Sloking. That way we can get a chill reception off and get rid of the sun. Because the last thing we need is that Leafeon setting up. So let's go into Drip Queen real quick, like so. Nice and shiny, gotta love it. And um, they go for a Solar Beam, which is going to do nothing to us, obviously. Because we are a specially defensive monster and we resist it. And it's not stabbed, so yeah, nothing. No damage, pretty much. Um, leftovers is pretty much going to recover all of that, nearly. Um, which is great. So, so we definitely go for a chilly reception here. There's no real reason not to. They go for a dark pulse to get as much damage on us as possible. And they may flinch us, but they don't as we pre are prepared to tell a chillingly bad joke. And uh, it comes through. <laughs> Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. And then he goes back. And that, that, was, that was meant to be unfunny, by the way. So... <laughs> Anyone who cringed at that good, you should be cringing. Um, we know they can't solo beam us because of the reasons. Um, do we go into Blastoise and Shell Smash or do we do we head smash? I think we head smash. I think we go into Arcanine and head smash this thing into Oblivion. I think they go Iron Treads um, or they let the Ninetales go down. One of the two. Um, so I go for a head smash anyway. Screw it. They withdraw the Ninetales. Are they going to go the Iron Treads to take the head smash? Probably, right? Iron Treads. This risky play on their behalf because we could have predicted them and gone for a, f f a Flare Blitz, but um, maybe it was an obvious play. Maybe I should have done that, but either way, their booster energy and attack, which is interesting. Uh, Head Smash is going to come through, which is great. No, doesn't miss. Bit of chip damage off on the Iron Treads. Um, we have to switch out now, though, and I am going to go into Superior. Superior can take an Earthquake, no problem. Um, it can't really take an Ice Spinner too well, but they probably don't go for an Ice Spinner. Well, they might. I don't know. Um, they go for a knockoff, which is, you know, that's still going to sting quite a bit as it knocks off our heavy boots. Um, now we can go for a glare if we want to. I think I will go for a glare here. There we go. Glare comes through. We just paralyze the iron treads like so. And um, that's the way I want to go with this. And then we'll go for a leaf storm afterwards. They go for a rapid spin, which isn't going to get, it's not going to KO us. That's for sure. And it boosts their speed, but they are paralyzed. So I'm going to go for a Leaf Storm right now. I could Terra Fire Terra Blast, but I don't want to waste my Terra just yet. I'd rather just get damage off on this Iron Treads, to be honest with you, as they go for a Heavy Slam, which does the job. Superior just could not take the Heavy Slam, which is fine. Um, now that this thing's paralyzed, we can do a lot of things differently now. We can go into our Blastoise if we want to. They reveal they have Repa Spin, Knock Off, Earthquake... And what else would they have? Maybe Stealth Rocks? I don't know. They could have anything, really. So, what do we go into? I'm leaning towards the Golurk. And the reason I'm going the Golurk... Actually, no, Golurk won't outspeed, will it? I, I, I want to go Golurk anyway. And the reason being is because I want to go for that Terror Fighting Dynamic Punch. Because I think they either go for a knockoff here, which would get rid of our item, which would be great. Or they switch out into something like the Meloetta to take a Poltergeist. Potentially. So I'm going to go with a Terra Fighting um, Dynamic Punch right now. Because I want to get Go Lurk some action, you know? I really want to get Go Lurk some action. And it's been on this team. It's not really had much of a much time in the, in the spotlight. 
as I would have liked it to have. So, and Golo comes through. They do go for a knockoff. Obviously, the outspeed does, even though they're paralyzed because of the speed boost they got from the rapid spin. They knock off our choice band, but this dynamic punch is definitely going to KO the Iron Treads from the health that it's at. Boom. Down it goes. So, Iron Treads goes down, which is great. Absolutely fantastic. Iron Treads going down. And I'm kind of glad that we lost our... Um, I'm kind of glad that we lost our choice band because now we can switch up our moves a little bit. Meloetta comes in the Gourmet. Love it. We definitely go for a knockoff here because this thing is probably going to psychic us anyway and KO us. But, you know, it's... Yeah, it KOs us. So, Golo goes down. But that's fine. I don't mind Golo going down. It's not the end of the world. Um, now we get a free switch in on this Meloetta, which is going to be really crucial. Uh, we definitely need to go into our Arcanine because Head Smash just bodies their entire team. They have not got a switch into Head Smash right now. So I, I just hope I don't miss because if I miss, we're screwed. They withdraw the Meloetta. What are they going to go into to take a Head Smash? Probably the Ninetales, I was going to say, um, to get the Sun up, which it does. It gets the Drought up, which is fine. We go for a head smash. We don't miss, which is nice. That nine tails is dead. KO'd 100 billion percent of the time. So nine tails is down. We need to get Slowbro in. We need to get Slow King in to get rid of that Leafeon because that Leafeon is a is a threat. They're going to Blaze, which is going to be the Dragonite. Interesting choice because I can just go for a head smash if I want to, but I'm not gonna. I'm going to go into Corviknight because th there's a reason that I want to keep this thing around. It's, it's purely because that Flare Blitz in the Sun is going to really hurt their entire team. Like, really hurt their entire team. So, Corviknight comes through. They go for an Outrage, which is great, because that means we get a free uh, whatever we want with, with the Corviknight. Um, obviously, what I'm going to do now that this thing's locked in is I'm going to go for that Brave Bird. Get the Brave Bird on. They go for another Outrage because they're locked in. No doubt, no problems there. We're going to take it like a champ, get the Rocky Helmet chip, and then we're going to go ahead and go for a Brave Bird. They are confused now, though, which means they can switch out if they want to. Brave Bird comes through, though. And that's going to do a solid bit of damage to the uh, the Dragonite right now. So now, I'm going to go for a Roost because I'm expecting them to either switch out or stay in and go for their own Roost. Let's see what they do. They go for a Fire Punch in the Sun and that finishes us off. Ah, that's not good. So, Noctis goes down, which is a real shame. However, we still have the Arcanine in the back. So we're going to go into Wildfire real quick, and we'll go for that Flare Blitz. No reason not to go for Flare Blitz. It will take out the uh, Dragonite from here. But that is for sure, and they can't switch anything in. They are going to go and try and break through Confusion to go for an Extreme Speed, by the looks of it. And they do, but the Extreme Speed isn't enough to KO us, because we are a Rock-type and resist that. As we go for a Flare Blitz, and that is going to definitely KO the Dragonite. So Arcanine is coming through this game. Arcanine is coming through this game. So, Blaze goes down. All we need to do, really, is um, get... The Leafeon's probably going to come in right now because it has Chlorophyll, so it'll outspeed our Arcanine. Lyra comes in. That's going to be the Leafeon, right? Yes, yeah, so the Leafeon is here. We switch out 100% of the time into our Slow King because now that the Leafeon is here, we need to get rid of the Sun. Thing is, they might go for a Swords Dance predicting us to switch, but as long as we can stall out the Sun somehow... It's all right. It's not the end of the world. So let's go into Slow King like so. They're going to Terrastalize. What type are they going to Terrastalize into, though? Well, probably Fire, if I had to guess. Which would definitely have helped them against the Flare Blitz. Yeah, Terra Fire. So that's fine. Um, we can definitely take a hit from them. They probably go for a Swords Dance, like I said. As uh, they do go for a Swords Dance. But the Sun won't last much longer. And this thing is now weak to Head Smash. So all I need to do here is I need to chilly reception. They go for a solar blade. Why solar blade? Did they expect us to switch? Oh, they might have expected the blastoise switch. Oh yeah, because we'll be stalling out the sun. So they're expecting the blastoise switch um, because Terra Fire would have taken us out. But no, 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 I was being ballsy. I'm letting Slow King go down if I need to, to get that chilly reception off. There we go. Started to snow, but looking at that solar blade damage, Terra Blast Fire would have definitely hit KO'd us right there. Which is scary to think about. So if they only have Solar Blade, we can freely go into our Blastoise right now. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. Um, because they have to go for a two-turn setup. So I think we can just go straight for a Shell Smash here. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. Shell Smash comes through. We outspeed them, which is amazing. Because Leafeon's not exactly super fast. Without the Sun. 
They're probably adamant, to be fair, if they're in the sun. Probably adamant. So we're going to get our Shell Smash off. We're also going to get some left uh, White Herb recovering our defense stats. Which means if they go for Knock Off here, it's not going to be able to get the KO. They go for a Sunny Day. Wasn't expecting that one. But that has just turned things over onto... All right, so we outspeed them normally anyway. So Surf, we should outspeed here. We should outspeed here after a Shell, a shell Smash. Yeah, we do. So Surf comes through. That nearly takes out the Leafeon. They go for a Solar Blade, and that is going to definitely annihilate us. So, that is unfortunately going to be the end of Blastoise. But you know what? It's not the end of the world because Blastoise still weakened the Leafeon to the point where Extreme Speed will KO. So, let's go Arcanine once again. Wildfire can come in. Like so. We 100% of the time go for an Extreme Speed here. To get the KO on the Leafeon. There we go. Leafeon comes through and goes down. Extreme Speed Arcanine. This Arcanine moveset is amazing. The Arcanine is definitely the focus of this uh, video. I know it didn't like do super much in the first game. But it did like loads this game. Like it took out like three of the three, nearly four of the Pokemon. Which is crazy. So now they have Meloetta left. We definitely need to switch out here. We go into our Slow King real quick. So there we go. We're going to withdraw Arcanine. We're going to go into the Slow King which is amazing. For us, Drip Queen comes through. The sun is up still. Um, I kind of want to keep the sun up. They go for a Psychic, which is fine. That's going to do a bit of damage to us. Not too much. Leftovers is going to recover us. I'm hoping they can KO the Slow King with enough time so that we still have the sunlight so we can go for a Flare Blitz. So I'm going to go for a Sludge Bomb here. They go for a Psy Shock, which is going to hit us on the defensive side, which is going to take us out. Um, which means we didn't get any sludge bombs off, which is unfortunate. So it's all going to come down to whether or not Arcanine can KO Meloetta with a head smash now that the um, now the sunlight has faded. So that's unfortunate the sunlight faded there. But I guess it was a sunny day. It wasn't a drought with a heat rock. So um, we have to hope that head smash KOs. So let's go for it. Hopefully we don't miss. We don't miss, which is great. Head smash comes through. Meloetta barely lives and goes for a Psychic, which means Blitzer claims the victory. But Arcanine did so well that game. It just barely did miss the KO there against the Meloetta. That's unfortunate. So, anyway, GG Blitzer, that was a fun one. I really enjoyed that one. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Thank you very much for watching today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.